Hi there, we're back with me Chocks Movie, and today we're going to talk about a movie about a man who is an expert at getting into the toughest safe deposit box in the world. Without further ado, let's read the plot. The story takes place six years before the zombie apocalypse that was depicted in the Army of the Dead movie spread to Las Vegas and revealed a weird guy. If you've seen Army of the Dead, you'll recognize this character as Deterrer. However, it turns out that Deterrer was once known by the name Sebastian. If you wonder why Sebastian changed his name, the solution will become clear as the plot develops. Sebastian is a safe breaker and a YouTuber who frequently posts videos with instructions for opening safes. Sebastian once related a story about a former person named Hans Wegner who was an expert safe maker. There are only four safes created by Hans Wegner, and these four safes have the highest level of security in the whole globe. This safe has a serial number that reflects the degree of strength and security. Due to the extremely high level of sensitivity, if the safe is accidentally open even once, it will remain locked forever and cannot be broken. Hans Wegner once barricaded himself inside the safe box he had constructed because he wanted to demonstrate its strength and veracity. Nobody was able to unlock Hans' safe. According to reports, Hans was found dead inside his safe after the police chose to dump his safe into the water because it couldn't be opened from the outside. Sebastian also posted the video to his YouTube channel after talking about the safe constructed by Hans Wegner, but no one viewed it. Still, Sebastian posted the footage to YouTube. Although Sebastian has skill at breaking into safes, fate has different plans for him because he works in a job that he finds to be extremely uninteresting. When Sebastian opened his laptop that day after hearing a news story about a zombie epidemic that had hit Las Vegas, he was astonished to see that someone had been watching the video. Additionally, they made a remark and urged Sebastian to visit a location where a safe breaking competition was being held. As soon as he arrived there when Sebastian was instructed to recite a password statement in order to access secure the area, he did so without pausing to consider beforehand. Arriving there Sebastian said a sentence according to the direction of someone who commented on his YouTube video. Can you guys think who is the person that gave the password to Sebastian? Okay forget it not for a long time the guard had let Sebastian in. Sebastian was startled by the sheer number of people watching the safe breaking competition as he entered the building. When the competition began, Sebastian was perplexed and when he noticed some individuals who had succeeded in opening the safe, he began quickly trying to open the safe box. Sebastian managed to open the safe and enter the semifinals. In this semifinal, Sebastian was really serious about his performance OM the competition until in the end. Sebastian managed to open the safe and went to the final round. In his final confrontation, Sebastian faces up against a guy who is skilled at breaking into safes. Sebastian didn't move as the race began other than to gaze at the safe in front of him. In this final, everyone was curious as to what Sebastian was doing. Yeah, I mean you must be crazy if you just stand up in the middle of competition doing nothing. He was only silent until a few seconds before the end of the game. But surprisingly when he began to solve the problems and Sebastian ultimately succeeded in opening the safe box and winning this competition. In this competition, Sebastian succeeds as the new champion, but when he looks in another way, he notices Gwen, a beautiful and mysterious lady who immediately captures his attention. She was good at stealing when she was a kid, 
and now Gwen a dependable burglar and the champion of an international safe-breaking tournament. Such a dangerously woman right. When Sebastian returned home, he was overjoyed with what he had accomplished in the competition. He wasn't overjoyed with his winnings, but rather overjoyed that he had won the competition. Gwen approached Sebastian on his way to work the following day with the intention of making an employment offer with him. In the sense of the word, she wants Sebastian to be a partner in crime. Sebastian immediately recognized that Gwen was a criminal person when he knew Gwen showed him some of the goods that she had stolen from the cafe at the time. In response to Gwen's invitation to join her squad, Sebastian declines as well, claiming that he is not a thief. What a crazy woman, right guys? Gwen convinces Sebastian that this mission is not about the money but rather breaking the safe of Hans Wegner, which would make them all famous in the history. Gwen reveals that their goal is a safe constructed by Hans Wegner where no one can break into the safe. Sebastian appeared to be thrilled about her plan to open the Hans Wegner safe as well. Sebastian was once surprised by a number of voices coming from his apartment's corridor while he was watching television. Sebastian checked the corridor as well, but without giving it any thought, it turned out that there was an ugly lady who attempted to assault him. However, it turns out that Sebastian's entire experience was a dream. The following morning, Sebastian visited Gwen as promised at the previous cafe. Before Sebastian entered her home, Gwen introduced several of his team members. Seen there two men and a woman. The first is called Karina, and she is an expert computer hacker. The second is Rob, and Rob is an excellent driver. The third one is called Brad, and he is exceptionally skilled fighter. No doubt besides having a sexy body, he is also a reliable fighter. After Sebastian had met everyone on the crew, Gwen went through the details of their stolen operation. The first task is to take money from a Handwagner safe. This first safe is located in a cooperative savings and loan institution. Gwen will arrive at the location after Sebastian, and she will grab the key from the security guard. Oh, poor guard, but luckily she did not kill you. All right, Gwen will pose as if to examine the cooperative currency kept in the safe, and then Karina will draw the teller's attention. I like the type of girl Karina has. Gwen and Sebastian will begin their activity in a room. Sebastian is the first person to view the Hans Wegner safe. He experiences astonishment and joy simultaneously. I think he has ejaculated though. All right, a little while later, Sebastian began the activity by listening as closely to the machine as he could. Sebastian was thrilled that he was the only person who could break into the safe created by Hans Wagner not because of the money within, but rather because it had finally been opened with seriousness. Sebastian and Gwen departed after obtaining enough cash. Now that their first assignment has been successfully fulfilled. Yeah, glad to hear that. The scene switches where a police officer named Dell is annoyed with the theft that Gwen and his team have committed. Dell has been hunting for Gwen and Gwen's friends for years, but Dell is in trouble catching Gwen because Gwen's team is too smart. Officer Dell, let me tell you, you should hire me if you want catch them up. 
arriving Gwen with friends at home. Sebastian looked at Gwen and he fell in love with Gwen who looked very beautiful, hot and sexy. But Sebastian must accept the harsh reality that Gwen is Brad's girlfriend. Bro, why don't you make love to both of them? In one of the rooms, Sebastian invites Gwen to talk alone. Gwen tells Sebastian to find a nickname so that his identity is not revealed, and this is where Sebastian chooses the name of the deter we know in the Army of the Dead. The reason Sebastian chose the name Deter was because it was the name of a world-famous safebreaker. I think you should choose Grindelwald instead of Deter Bro. In the living room, Brad starts to get jealous of Sebastian, who is too close to Brad's girlfriend, Gwen. Stupid Brad, why don't he make secret relationships with Karina? The next day, several police officers who received orders from Dell were ready to frame Gwen and his team. Dell realized that if Gwen and her team would break into another safe, this second mission was a robbery in a bank that was quite tightly secured. The same as before Sebastian will enter first, guided by Karina who has broken into the system at the bank. Then the next plan is Gwen take her plan. Gwen and Sebastian are seen entering an elevator. Sebastian suddenly tells Gwen to break up with Brad. Sebastian feels jealous because Gwen is dating Brad. But without realizing it, Brad overhears a conversation from Gwen with Sebastian in the elevator. Oh poor Brad by the way. Arriving at the safe room Gwen beat the guards without the slightest mercy. In the CCTV room a guard at the bank realizes that their bank system has been hacked. On the other hand Dell starts to move to arrest Gwen and his troops. But Dell turns out to have misdirected. It turns out that it was not the bank that Gwen and his troops planned. Back to Gwen now Sebastian will also start the action of breaking into the second safe. This second safe has a more difficult security than before. Sebastian is very careful trying to open the safe with his abilities. In the end the safe was successfully opened. Sebastian didn't really care about the money in it because Sebastian only felt happy if he managed to break into the safe made by Hans Wagner. At the entrance Brad started his action by threatening the hostages but unfortunately Brad was shot by the guards. When a visitor from the bank runs out, Gwen and Sebastian take advantage of the opportunity to disguise themselves as a visitor. Because the police start to arrive, Gwen and Sebastian have to run to the car they prepare to escape the police chase. But when it was Sebastian's turn to get into the car, because of Brad's anger and jealousy, he deliberately pushed Sebastian to fall and was left behind. In a very panicked Sebastian tried to escape from the place by running as fast as possible and stealing a bicycle in the area. I think when Sebastian riding the bike is so funny. How about you guys? All right. Sebastian fled towards the train tracks and luckily Sebastian managed to escape by riding one of the passing trains. At that time Sebastian felt disappointed and angry because his own friends betrayed him. In the car Gwen scolds Brad why Brad is acting selfishly by purposely leaving Sebastian. Gwen explains if it wasn't for Sebastian this mission wouldn't be successful. Gwen chose to leave the team and jumped out of the car at that very moment. Karina who saw Gwen leaving also chose to go with Gwen. Now Gwen and Karina will continue the third mission without Brad.
Sebastian, who just arrived at his apartment, has not realized that Gwen and Karina are now in his room. When Gwen shows himself, Sebastian is surprised and tells them both to get out of his room because Sebastian doesn't trust them anymore. Gwen apologizes for Brad's evil actions earlier Gwen said if the three of them could become a new team and it was just the three of them. Sebastian heard Gwen's words and Sebastian agreed to start the third mission. Don't lie to me bro, you were agreed because you love her right. Somewhere Dell was surprised after finding out that it was Sebastian who turned out to be. He is a person with no criminal history. Dell also realizes that Sebastian might only be used by Gwen and his team to help in their crime plans. I told you, bro. The next morning, Sebastian again dreamed of a zombie that would bite him. Karina said that repeated dreams could be a prophecy about someone's death, and if you have watched Army of the Dead, surely you know that Sebastian will be bitten to death by the zombie king. Thus Sebastian's death, or what we know as the Tur has been told in this film. Yeah guys that is true that Sebastian will dead in that movie caused by the zombie. You guys should remember it. Alright, elsewhere Officer Dell hires a hacker assigned to break into sites from Karina and hack system from her. got information that Gwen was going to break into Hans Wigner's safe, which was about to be moved from the casino, but Dell was surprised because the safe had been moved. Meanwhile, Brad and Rob secretly followed Gwen's truck. Knowing they were being followed by Brad, Gwen and Karina tried to trap the handsome Brad so that Gwen wouldn't be caught. But unfortunately, Karina was caught by the police somewhere. It's okay, babe, I will see you in the prison, okay? In the somewhere else, Gwen, who was driving the container, got a message from Karina. If she had been caught by police, Karina also gave information that Brad and Rob were trying to follow the two of them. And after a while, Sebastian finally managed to open the third safe. When Gwen and Sebastian are about to run away with their truck and safe deposit box, Brad and Rob appear who threaten to shoot Gwen, but Gwen manages to turn things around. Gwen makes Brad and Rob tied to a container. No wonder if Gwen could make Brad surrender, she must touch the weakest part of Brad's body. You guys know what I mean, right? Previously, Gwen and Sebastian had intended to go somewhere to find the last safe from Hans Wagner. Before leaving, Sebastian expressed his feelings to Gwen when he was about to board one of the boats. Suddenly, Dell arrived and pointed his gun at Gwen and Sebastian. How could be Dell found them so fast? Never mind. Gwen also with a brave attitude also pointed the gun at Dell because there was no other way Gwen started a deal with Delaware. Gwen tells Dell to release Sebastian because Sebastian is not a fugitive like Gwen and three others. Gwen will surrender on the condition that Sebastian is released. There is no other choice. Dell agrees with Gwen's words. Before leaving, Gwen told Sebastian to promise to find a safe from the last Hans Wigner. With a heavy heart, Sebastian immediately left the place with the available boat. If I am Sebastian, I will not let Gwen alone. Come on, you are a man and let your women save your life. While in the middle of the sea, Sebastian saw some passports that Gwen had prepared in the passports. Gwen gives Sebastian a an alias name to be Deter, and that's the story of Sebastian who got the name Deter. At the end of the film, it looks like two familiar people are waiting for Sebastian. If we have watched Army of the Dead, these two people are Scott and Maria.
Scott offers Sebastian to break into the strongest safe from Hans Wagner and Sebastian will start a new adventure with Scott and Army of the Dead, and then the film ends. Ooh, just like that guy's story about a man who escaped from police who helped by his girlfriend and his girlfriend got to jail. Such a beautiful story. For those of you who want to see new adventures from Sebastian, please watch the film from Army of the Dead movie, okay? Okay, that's all for the explanation this time. I thank you for watching and see you in the next content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your subscription is mean a lot for me and this channel. Okay, see you guys and please don't jerk into much because Earth is already too much clean your thing. Bye, bye, and bye.